For this video, I'm going to take you for a tour of the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania, located in beautiful Strasburg. It really is difficult for me to articulate just how much I enjoy vacationing in Pennsylvania. I'm a huge rail fan. I love steam trains and excursions and pretty much any type of museum related to it. And Pennsylvania has my favorite railroad museums, at least on the East Coast. When I was growing up, my absolute favorite railroad museum was Steamtown, located in Scranton, Pennsylvania. But over time, my preferences have evolved and I now prefer the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania instead. And part of that is this particular museum has gotten so many investments and expansions over the years that this place really has become the premier railroad museum in all of Pennsylvania, at least in my opinion. By comparison, Steamtown has kind of stagnated and you can see the cost cutting in operations compared to how they used to operate the place in the late 90s and early 2000s. The last time I went to Steamtown, I was actually kind of shocked. They didn't have a single steam engine uh, operating. Uh, and uh, I remember going back in 1997 and they had three different steam locomotives uh, pulling various excursions and, you know, running around the yard doing, you know, various operations. So that attraction is kind of a shell of its former self. It had been about five years since the last time I visited this particular museum and there's been so many changes for the better. Uh, they completely rebuilt the front lobby and concourse. They added uh, several interactive play areas, one where you can shovel coal. They've got uh, this massive model train layout uh, downstairs that they didn't used to have. They've acquired a lot of new um, rolling stock and locomotives. I mean, it's just in, in a very impressive facility. And the cherry on top for this location is they're right across the street from the Strasburg Railroad which is a steam train excursion, and it is a great one. Although, I will say this, that the scenery out here in Strasbourg is kind of plain compared to some of the other excursion trains. I mean, you're just kind of running through cornfields for the most part. If you want to see scenic mountains and trestles and those type of things, then you're probably better off going on the excursion in Jim Thorpe. The collection of locomotives they have here on display is amazing. For example, they have the prototype GG1, also referred to as old rivets, and it was the one GG1 where they riveted the uh, the car body onto the locomotive. All the other GG1s, I believe, had the uh, the bodies welded onto the frame. They have full-scale replicas of the John Bull as well as the John Stevens. Those are uh, legendary early locomotives. They have the famous Lindbergh engine, which is known for racing an airplane in New York City with newsreels of Charles Lindbergh's flight back to the United States. On that particular trip, the engineers reported that the locomotive hit 115 miles an hour on the straightaway. But there's more to this place than just the locomotives and the rolling stock. This place is incredible. They also allow you to go outside into the yard to see uh, what uh, locomotives and rolling stock that they're currently restoring. You know, the in-progress stuff is usually stored outside. There's just something about the execution of this particular museum. Um, none of the other train museums on the East Coast are this elaborate. This building just kind of pushes this place over the top. You know, having the huge ceilings and this cavernous building that houses all these uh, beautifully restored locomotives and trains. And it's just a phenomenal place. So if you have any loved ones in your family that love trains as much as I do, this place is like Graceland for Elvis fans. It's just on another level. There's something just amazing about this place. I drive over a thousand miles every couple years just to see it. It's that beautiful. And the only other places you're going to find a railroad museum as nice as this are probably California and Texas. I've been to dozens of train museums and I can't think of a single one on the east coast that is as nice or elaborate as this one. Uh, Steamtown used to be on this level but um, they've kind of fallen behind over the last few years. What's kind of interesting about this particular museum too is since it opened in 1975 it has kind of turned uh, Strasburg, Pennsylvania into this railroad tourism hub. 
I already mentioned the Strasbourg Railroad across the street, but there's railroad restaurants in the Strasbourg Railroad area. There's a bunch of model train stores up there. There's the Choo Choo Barn, which is a toy train museum. There's uh, a hotel that you can stay inside railroad cabooses. There's dinner trains and tourist train excursions. I mean, there's so much here if you love trains and railroading as much as I do. This place is just fun. You know, Scranton has a little bit of that going on too with Steamtown, and they've got a, a trolley museum nearby as well as... Um, the former Lackawanna train station has become a hotel. I believe it's a Radisson. So Scranton's got a little bit of that, but Strasbourg is definitely the more successful out of the two. So what's my bottom line for the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania? I highly recommend it. This place is amazing for history buffs, for people who love trains and railroads. It's reasonably priced. Uh, an adult admission is about $10. And with nearby attractions like the Choo Choo Barn and the Strasbourg Railroad, you can easily get a full day of entertainment out of this particular place. As long as you're cool with the railroad theme. If you ever had a railroad museum on your bucket list, this is that one museum that I highly recommend you see. It is definitely my all-time favorite one. Well, those are all my thoughts on the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. Now please uh, sit back as I play a little music and show you what the place looks like. Mm -hmm. 